Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this video, I'm going to revisit our um, baking and tracing concept. Um, it's a trick that we can do using animation nodes, uh, but I will now do it um, using SketchUp. It's a. Uh, it can be simpler. It depends on what you want to do. Um, so this is actually the PPIP dance that uh, I bake every single frame um, using SketchUp. This is actually really, really simple to do, uh, simpler than you might think. So I'll open uh, the PPAP dance, um, which is this one. I got this from Twitter, one of a uh, Japanese artist animate the dance. And then so I thought, okay, I think I can keep this and use it as, as for the future tutorial. And now I'm doing it now. So. So this is special baking and tracing. So it's a two two different things. Uh, baking is uh, when <clears throat> we have this kind of animations and we want to just bake every single frame so it, we, we can perhaps print it out. Um, I'll do that real quick now using special. You probably already know this but it's not so obvious. So if we have this uh, whatever kind of animations you have. This one is actually using joints. It has armature and stuff. And armature in Blender is a modifier, so we're gonna reload it into into SquareShop. Just using objects in. I'm gonna get this object, get selected. Turn on post modifier. Okay, so it's using the modifier. And then the output is gonna be fewer draw plug in the vertices and polygon. Aha, uh -huh, you might get something like this and okay, that's not what you want. Um, you will need to apply the matrix because there might be like a transformations on the original objects and it's not being calculated. So now this is um, this is more correct. Although you can see there's a, like, it looks like there's extra vertices but it's not um, Maybe it's just a small bug. I just turn off the points for now. So we actually have the original and the one that's fresh out uh, I'm gonna create. I'm gonna save this real quick. We don't, we actually, in fact, we don't need to do anything. This is actually, um, we, we're just ready to bake. Basically, if, uh, if I play back this and then make character doing a pose, and then if we hit the button, you know it's baking this guy and we go to another frame and bake it we get another oops another baking uh model being baked so we can do that for every single frame right uh, it's that simple basically um let's turn on outliner now i want to get all the sv here i want to get rid of all this um the idea is, of course, just by using a Python script and then just uh, do the baking on every frame or every maybe every 10 frames or those that kind of stuff. We're gonna end up with a lot of these um, SV um, objects being uh, baked. The way to delete it is uh, by go to select, select by pattern, and then just type in the name sv dot something turn off extend because you might you might actually uh, select one object you don't want to extend it you want to start from nothing and then select pattern enter and you're selecting this guy and I believe I can just delete this that's the SV0, it's not get selected. Just delete this. Okay, we still have um, everything and the dancing is still happening. Okay, good. Um, there are two ways to do it. Actually, I remember I used to use um, animation nodes to do it, but you can actually use um, SquareShop on scripted node. I will use the animation nodes first for now. Um, I bake one so I can see this uh, bpy.ops.nose mesh baker mk2. That's the command 
to do the baking so just get this and just copy that and then go to animation nodes and then turn off always just turn on frame change and I'll create a script node and then new script can be mess baker and create a mesh baker here and just paste the script like that and now if we play back it's gonna do the baking for us I like the animation nodes uh, script node because it's really simple you just paste um, Python code there and it's just uh, it's just gonna work properly um, with Spreadshock currently the script node in Spreadshock uh, always needs uh, inputs or outputs things like that so this is the mesh baking already happening so it's all good um, it's actually yeah it's really that simple now I wanna do the same thing using Spreadshock one um, select pattern SV something Let's delete it so we, we're back with nothing whoops I'm uh, baking it again sorry select pattern delete and let's delete the animation nodes one we don't need that for now back to Spreadshock I will use a uh, Spreadshock own uh, baking baker so scripted node um, is there a template maybe there's a template I will use this loaded um, copy this um, copy this command functions in Python go to template and then press ctrl I look in the console yeah this is the thing I the template is not really working I just use um, spiral Fibonacci for now load that get the spiral Fibonacci example and then if we use this script now you know it's gonna generate a Fibonacci point thing if we don't want that uh, if you want to copy each character to the points that uh, you can do that but we're not gonna do that mm, what I will do I will keep everything but I will add my own uh, kind of um, variable here uh, this is gonna be the frames and then I will say if the frame number divided by 10 equal 0 if it's true then do the command do the baking this is like a, how many frame you want it or maybe every 5 frames do the baking or every 20 frames we use this modulo modulo math function so now reload and now we have this frame thingy what happened is now if I'm kind of playing back it's gonna do the baking for us you see here it's a every time uh, yeah so let's delete all those select pattern and then delete. select that and delete Well, let's see let's test it um, frame number frame info I'm just gonna flip back no so now I believe it's a um, now it's doing the bake every uh, five frames we can actually test it at the moment we have we are on a frame 1000 uh, we are on a frame 300 and we have around 40 so that seems to be working fine or I can say that for every every 25 frames or every 24 frames so for every second generate the uh, this uh, bake 
object. So the whole dance is around 1,405. So we should get around how many? 50. I think that's done. Um, there you go. That's a. Uh, that's how you do the baking in Spreadshop. If um, now, if I want to show you how we can do a uh, tracing using Spreadshop, it's actually also pretty simple. Um, maybe I'll save this first. Save as this is a bake. Save it again. I'm actually gonna do um, a little bit of quick animations. I'm gonna disconnect this guy. Um, I'll create a cube instead. Okay, get the cube. So now with this cube, I will kind of animate it. Um, let me turn off this one second. Oh, I know what's wrong. I forgot to plug this in. So it was it was doing a uh, the baking more than we need. Anyway, the, um, I'll do a little bit of animation with this cube, and we're gonna do the baking. But after we do the baking, we're gonna do the tracing as well. Okay, so turn on auto. Um, leave it up. The funny thing is, uh, it's currently doing the baking. I said it's a uh, maybe I should disconnect this for now. Is this animation nodes doing it? Hmm. So weird. Ah, uh, because the F is one. Uh, maybe because of this guy. Select pattern delete. Okay. Shouldn't be baking now, it's still baking it. Wonder why. Maybe because of this, okay. That's really really weird. Still doing the baking. Oh, uh, all right. I guess that's fine. Then we're gonna keep the bake object. So we're just gonna trace it. Select pattern and it. So do the bake. Okay, that's uh that's okay. Um now we just gonna delete the cube and delete all this select all the SV objects and then get selections and okay let's delete just delete this we don't need that anymore
we're gonna trace these objects okay and the way to do that is using fewer draw again let's uh, let's have a look at all the points so as you can see the cube has um, eight different points and then we have all this big cube so we have it for every frames I think for if or every 10 frames um, we can use the list item and then get the first point second point and then so on let's say if I'm just selecting the point zero here and I'll use UV, UV connections edges plug in the edges V directions now we, we have um, our trace it's, it's, it's actually that simple um, we can select points number two point number three four five six seven eight so we don't have more than eight um, so if we use a um, range range float um, range integer start and stop at 8 start at 0 plug this into the items we have our tracer uh, because it's a spread chalk you can also easily separate all the edges for example and then connect it to it into polyline viewer plug that in so yeah there you go that's um that's how you can do tracing quite easily mm, what else should I go back to maybe I'll save this file save as four and I'm gonna export out the JSON. I'm just gonna test something. Export uh, this uh, so tracer. Save it as tracer. Now open the bake PPAP dance. It's taking a while. Okay, done. Uh, so delete all this and select pattern S feed zero. Select pattern. SV zero star. Now we're gonna use the import. Get our JSON tracer. And it's gonna recreate our nodes tree here and get selections. Hopefully we get our traced. Ah, uh, we probably did. Um, it's just that is really really big at the moment. So that's the trace. It's called alpha. Make it zero point zero one. You see, that's the trace of the. PPA evidence 0 0.05 um, how many objects we have let's, see. let's make 100 of it 100 so let it calculate 
if you use a um, list slice, you can also make the the traced objects kind of uh, animating. Okay, it's done already. Um, it's a lot faster than I thought because maybe Spreadshock is keeping the the data somewhere. Select the pattern again and put it in a different layer. Now apparently we have SV as select pattern. Put it in different layer. Oh, I know why. It's not just like a one hundred of this. It's a. It's the vertices of this guy that we need to check. So we have two thousand eight hundred vertices. If I turn this into one thousand five hundred, for example. Let it calculate. Um, hopefully this works. Um, might take a while. Let um, it works. Connection. I guess it's uh, taking a little bit of time, but uh, yeah. I guess if you have any questions, you can leave um, comments down below. Um, this is pretty much what I want to show you. It's uh, how you can do the baking and also tracing using Spreadshop. Um, Spreadshop is more meant for these kind of things, I think. Um, dealing with mesh and doing all kind of mesh generations. Animation nodes kind of doing it as well, although in a in a different way. Yeah, I guess it's gonna take a while. Um, because one thousand five hundred points over how many thousand objects or hundred objects too long. Uh, yeah, but anyway, I, I guess um, this is pretty much for the live noting this episode. Um, thanks again for tuning in and subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, it's done. <laughs> Just uh, at the right time. Okay, then that's it. That's pretty much uh, it for this video. Thank you again for...